assalamu alaikum my name is fahim afzal and uh, today we are going to talk about a problem or an issue that was resolved practically by okorra in 1907 <clears throat> what was that issue it was an issue of a jail pentograph and uh, what is an issue this is our issue and uh, this was uh, resolved by this guy in 1997 so as we see we have two part two different part of our this main problem in order to understand this problem we need to understand both question that author want us to understand or to learn before solving this question so we are going to uh, disc to have an overview of problem 21 in chapter 1 and problem 67 of chapter 2 let's see here problem 21 of chapter 1 here we draw same block here we draw uh, block diagram of this thing this is pentograph this is catenary catenary holds power for the train and that power from catenary to the train was delivered by using pentograph there are a lot more issues in in these things in um, uh, joining uh, pentograph and catenary but we are going to discuss a few of them in here where we draw block diagram of uh, several forces and springs so in order to understand this problem we need to learn what is pentograph pentograph is an elbow like device that is connected to the catenary to get supply or voltage from it and transfer that to the train you see it in is an uh, elbow like device electromechanical device so there is a force f up f up here it moves from pentograph to catenary and uh, spring displacement this spring displacement came from uh, here and here is a spring type thing that give flexibility to pentograph and catenary and controller and transducer and sensors here uh, desired force is given to the input transducer what is transducer transducer is a, a device that convert energy from one form to another transducer are often employed at the boundaries of automation measurement and control system so it converts energy from one form to another form basically this is its purpose this is an arrow symbol here we have a controller and actuator so what is actuator an actuator is a component of a machine that is responsible for moving and controlling a mechanism or system for example by opening a valve and uh, this is f of force that is produced by pentograph toward the catenary or spring 
and uh, this is spring displacement uh, it is uh, given in the question all of these uh, blocks are given in the question and uh, we just have to arrange them to get the desired block diagram this is f out and here we have a unity feedback that was given that was sensed by a sensor and give it to error to reduce the amount of error or to give up beneficial or uh, significant we can say input to get desired output this was the part one of our may of our question and uh, this is the part two question number 67 from uh, chapter two this is the uh, diagram and it is simplified into this diagram why we say i say simplified because uh, we have solved a lot of problem like this one in chapter two that's why now i say it simplifies fvh is the head suspension and uh, fvf frame suspension kav this is catenary spring constant and uh, ks pantograph shoe kh pantograph head kf frame suspension ff is the force that is produced by the pantograph towards catenary here it is the solution These are the uh, names that I have already told you by seeing the diagram and uh, Y cat is catenary displacement FF force upward from pentagraph to catenary. So by using uh, this figure, we can get three equations and we have three unknown and we can easily get our uh, answers as we may have clearly understand the question what is y cat and what is f and y h and uh, all of this this is important one we are going to use it in our main question so finally we are going to solve our main problem after having an overview on the previous question that are related to our main question. In this question, we are going to uh, draw log diagram. This is our question. We have asked three, it has three additional parts. So in part one, it want uh, log diagram. Yeah, this block diagram is similar uh, like the previous one of question number 21 from chapter 1. The difference here is the are only values. It has in signed values so that we can uh, get a, a transfer function in numbers not in only number uh, variables or figures. So here is our transfer function after following the same procedure. This is the uh, same thing of question, uh, the previous questions part C. We just put uh, values in it and then uh, uh, solving transfer function by putting these two values in this formula, we get transfer function T of S After getting the transfer function, we draw phase variable form. Uh, we have learned it in chapter three, how to draw phase variable form. You can consult from there to understand uh, it more clear, uh, clearly. 
this is the flow signal diagram it is similar to uh, it is similar to block diagram um, there's a little bit changes these bubbles and uh, values and forces acting toward their force so c part is continuous and uh, we have uh, now we are writing state equation and uh, state output equation so this is uh, the same uh, way how we did in chapter 3 we get this form and this form is basically representing this formula and uh, this is f out y is equal to f out and this represent output equation so now we have a simulation i have done simulation on matlab here you can see in numerator of the transfer function this is numerator this is denominator numerator of the transfer function that i have showed you earlier this is the denominator of the transfer function that i showed you earlier here we want uh, transfer function yeah, here by writing this uh, command in matlab uh, matlab's command window we can get transfer function these numerator will come up and uh, it will come on below this numerator i'll show you uh, later this is the response we get after that i have uh, run it on matlab symlink and got this result this output and this output is similar now i'm going to share you another screen if you don't have matlab you can use uh, octave online they offer you free command prompt uh, so that you can solve your so that you can run your um, codes num means numerator 648 now then then means denominator denominator one twenty three point five nine these are the previous value that i showed you in the question one four into 10 raised to power 4 if you don't uh, have complete uh, i mean if you have um, uh, amount of powers from s4 to s1 but you have a missing power like you don't have uh, s2 between uh, the powers of s4 and s1 then you have to put 0 so that uh, compiler can understand your power otherwise you will get a wrong output same is equal to transfer function 
numerator comma denominator this will give us our transfer function in this is our transfer function and these are values if you have s4 s keep s raised to power 4 and s to raised to power 3 and if you don't have s raised to power 2 but you have these things then you have to write instead of this zero so that zero will represent this power zero into s raised to power 2 if you don't put zero then you will get wrong output I am assigning some time interval to it. Clearing screen. Now I'm going to plot it so that we can see our desired output. T semicolon enter. Now going to plot it, plot t comma y. Here we get our desired output. So I hope you guys um, get some fruitful information and may have learned what I want to taught you. So if you have a keen desire to uh, get or learn more information, then you can use these uh, links. It has uh, more information about this problem. Thank you for very much for listening. Allah peace.